Hello my lovely ones, welcome back to my channel, welcome back to an, a normal sit down video that's not a vlog. I haven't done a video like this in a long time because I just haven't been inspired to do one, I haven't really known what to do and I don't like to put videos out just for like the sake of a video, like I want to want to do it if that makes it any sense at all. Also I'm trying something a bit different with lighting, please let me know what you think, I'm, I don't know yet. It's really hard to tell on the viewfinder until you actually go and edit it. I'm thinking I want to get a, cam a camera, no no no, a cord or something to connect to my laptop so I can actually see what it looks like on my laptop as well. There's a smudge on you. I don't know if that's made any difference. Today's video is my November favourites. I didn't do an October favourites because a, I hadn't really tried anything new, and B, the things I had started to try new, I'd started in the last week, so I didn't feel like I'd used them enough to be able to say, yes, it's one of my favourites, so I decided to leave it and to do a November favourites instead. Hence, here we are with a November favourites. Firstly, it's kind of a repeat, kind of not. It's the same sort of product, but a different version of it. So it's the Garnier Marcella Water, but this is the combination and sensitive skin one and it is the one that's supposed to mattify your skin. If you've watched my videos for a while you know that I'm a really big fan of matte skin. I, I don't really like the dewy look on me, it kind of just makes me personally look a bit sweaty and gross and not great. But I love the matte finish and any product that says it gives me a matte finish I will try. So I picked up this one, I was going to pick up the normal one, then I spied this one and was like, nope, going to try it. And it's a huge bottle as well, it's like 400 milliliters, 200 uses apparently. I am really enjoying this actually. I've always liked Marcella Waters to take off my makeup, it's what I've preferred to use for a while to take off my makeup. I've always found it the easiest way to do it and my skin has always really liked it, blah 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 blah. But this one <laughs> is my favourite out of the two, because um, I've only ever seen two of the Garnier ones. Anyway, I know there's other brands, but of the Garnier ones, there's only two, as far as I'm aware. And this one is definitely my favourite. It does leave my skin matter. I have noticed a difference. With the normal one, when you take off your makeup, it kind of makes me go red. This one doesn't, this kind of makes my skin tone more even. I found, anyway, it's made a difference that that's what I've noticed. That's probably the biggest thing I've noticed is my skin just looks nicer without makeup on, like when I've removed it, whereas with the original one, it doesn't. It kind of just went a bit red and blotchy. I don't know if that's anything to do with the mattifying or whatever, but the formula of this one I just much prefer and my skin prefers it too. If you've never tried a micellar water, where have you been? You really need to try one and they're so much better than a makeup wipe but just as quick as a makeup wipe. So micellar waters give, get a thumbs up and this one just gets a huge thumbs up. I absolutely love this one. Next is a hair care product which I am very picky with. I will try or have tried hundreds and hundreds of hundreds of different like shampoos and conditioners and some of them I think I really really love and then I'll use it for a couple of weeks and I'm like, actually, don't really like it. But this one, right here, these are the Aveda Pure Abundance Shampoo and Conditioner. It's the clay conditioner for volumising your hair. I've been obsessed with these. These are something that I bought at the end of October and fell in love with straight away, but was like, I haven't used it long enough. I made this mistake before where I thought I've really, really liked a product and then used it for a longer space of time and realised I don't really like it. I adore these. These leave my skin, my skin, <laughs> no, these leave my hair feeling so soft and it really does volumise. The conditioner I think is one of my favourite conditioners I've ever used. It is a clay conditioner so I found this quite thick consistency. It feels a bit like clay. Funny that, but I just love how this leaves my hair feeling so soft, like it doesn't go frizzy anymore, it just, oh, I just can't rave about this stuff enough, I absolutely love it. And the smell of it's so nice as well, which is the big thing for me for my hair for some reason. The shampoo and conditioner has to smell nice. Now, the smell of it does remind me of something, but I cannot put my finger on what it reminds me of. I don't know, go and smell it. Go to an Aveda stand or store or whatever you have near you and go and smell it because I just really like the smell of these. <laughs> the shampoo is also incredible. Like it make, leaves my hair feeling so clean. You know when you've washed your hair and that like fresh washed feeling but your hair just feels so clean and like free of anything gunky in it or any product. This gives you that feeling but 
It does come with a price tag and these two together were £39, which I know is ridiculously expensive for shampoo and conditioner. I used my bonus at work to buy these because that's the only way I was going to try them. However, I have fallen in love with them and I feel like I am going to have to buy them again because these have nearly run out, like I'm nearly at the end and it's making me really sad to think that I'm going to have to try and find something else, something slightly cheaper to use. I may not. I may just say, nope, I'm going to use these all the time and I'm going to have to use them sparingly and have a few greasy hair days where I don't wash my hair as much to make them last slightly longer. Next is on to two clothing items. If you watch my vlogs, you will see this every week. <laughs> it is my khaki H&M jumper. It is a cropped jump. well, it's not cropped, but it sits like on your jean line of your high-waisted jeans. So cropped kind of not cropped if you know what I'm trying to say I've literally lived in this jumper since I purchased it I love it it has a really cute little rim around the bottom with the little slits either side and the same rim on the bottom of the arms I'm obsessed with this color at the moment it is the only thing I own in khaki I think that's why I'm obsessed with it so much because I love the color khaki in clothing but the only thing I have is this jumper so probably why I reach for it more it's really comfortable it keeps you warm but you don't have to wear a thick coat over it it's not like really thin that it lets all the air in like a lot of jumpers do I have noticed that some jumpers will say like feel really thick <laughs> oh my goodness feel really thick but as soon as you step outside that front door, you can feel the air going all the way through them. You don't get that with this, which is perfect for this time of year. And, and it's only £7.99. Did I say it was from H&M? I will say it now. It's from H&M. And it's only £7.99. And they do it in so many colours. I tried this one on along with an orange one. I know, shock horror. I went for the khaki one. Mainly because I don't only think khaki. And partly because the orange one just didn't fit as nicely. But they do a, like a wine red one, which I really want to get. They do it in white. They do it in black. I want it in every colour. And I feel like I can have it in every colour because it's only £7.99. Christmas drinks. I get very excited when the Christmas drinks come out at Costa and Starbucks. And this year, they have not let me down. My favourites this year are the chocolate orange hot chocolate from Costa, which I think they had last year and I was also obsessed with. Anything chocolate orange, I will love. Chocolate orange is my favourite. And the fudge hot chocolate from Starbucks is so good. Like, the perfect sweetness. Because I think the fudge kind of gives it a bit more of a salty taste. So you can drink more of it, I think, anyway. So I always get a large. <laughs> Not with the chocolate orange, though. The chocolate orange from Costa, I will always get in a medium. But the fudge hot chocolate from Starbucks, I get in a large. Because, why not? And you have to always get the cream on the top as well. My only tip, right, with the chocolate orange hot chocolate from Costa. Are you following? Because I'm getting confused in my brain. Don't get the flake in it. They, You can have cream and flakes, but the flake I found, you might love it, but I found, as you drink, obviously it sinks to the bottom of the drink and it melts and then it just becomes really, like, weird at the bottom of the drink. I don't know. I found that. You might absolutely love having the flake at the bottom of the drink, but I didn't really like it. So, to clarify, Costa, chocolate orange hot chocolate, Starbucks, Fudge hot chocolate. Really good. Finally is something that I feel everyone is going to mention in their favourites this month. I already know Zoella has mentioned it in her favourites this month. It is The Missing. I hadn't watched the first one, so I am when people started talking about The Missing again, I actually went back and watched the first season first, although then found out that I didn't need to do that because you don't have to have watched the first one to understand the second one. But I did that anyway, and the first one was really, really good. Um, and then I managed to catch up on the second one. And I have to say, I think I preferred the second one to the first one. Especially the ending to the second one. It was so much better than the first one. There was only one thing in it that really bugged me. I'm not going to say, because I don't want to ruin it for anyone. But there was one thing in the finale of the second season of The Missing that really... I don't know. Didn't ruin it, but it bugged me. But yeah amazing amazing series I always usually really like BBC TV series like that they're always really good the acting is always amazing it's just so good and if you love mysteries 
that sort of thing, seriously go and check out The Missing. I'm sure you all have now, um, but if you haven't, why? Go on, go and watch it, go. It's so good. And those are all my November favourites from this month. I hope you're all starting to feel nice and Christmassy now. Now we are in December, my fairy lights are up at the back, my little family of penguins is there, my Christmas bedding is on. The Christmas bedding is from Primark, if you are wondering if you can see it, it's penguins. If you didn't know, I'm obsessed with penguins. They are my most favourite animal ever in the whole world. And I really want to go to London Zoo to feed them. I am really rambling now, so I'm going to end the video here. Please let me know what you think of the lighting, I really am not sure. I feel like it's okay for this time of year, because it's a bit Christmassy, but I may change it up again. I don't know. I was just getting a bit bored of how my lighting was, because I have to have the light so close to me, because my room is quite, like, short, if that makes sense. Probably not. I felt like I was just a bit glowy. But anyway, I will leave you now. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what your favourite Christmas drink is this year. And I will see you next week. Goodbye!